<clears throat> I don't know what happened to the first video, so I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to come in here. And then I'm going to go to settings. I'll import my zip file. This is not the problem that you're having, but I want to just run through the whole steps. And I'm going to import the content into the course, select the QTI, choose the file. Here's my zip, and I'll import it. Okay, now I know I've imported it before, so but I can't retrieve those because I deleted whatever I did before. So anyway, I'm going to come over to quizzes. And I'll go ahead and create a new quiz. Clips quiz. Okay. And then you can do all this stuff over here, but I'm not going to bother. I'm going to go to questions and I'm going to go to find questions. Okay. And here is my, these are the seven questions that um, I just imported. It's a little upsetting to me that it doesn't put a name there, but you can see that those are the seven questions. You can also come over here to the view course questions and here's the no name question bank. This is the seven questions. You can see this is the one I just updated, okay? And there's the questions right there. So now, come back to the questions. I don't really like the way this navigates, but nobody asked me. So I'm going to come back over here, find these questions in my no name. I'm going to select them and add questions to the question group. And here's where I'm going to get a new question group. So I'm going to go Cliffs, new question group. Okay. And I'm going to pick five of them and I'm going to give them 10 points each. Create the group, add the questions, and now you can see that they're in your quiz right here. Here's the questions. Here's the questions. Okay. And then we can save this. Okay. So if we preview this with any luck at all, we'll have five questions. Good. We'll have five out of the seven questions. Okay. So that is the way that I have done it now which is different and that's also what I put on the, um, the steps over here. So you can see over here, I click on the quiz, give the quiz a name, click on the questions, click on find questions and then find the test bank. Okay. And again, mine was called no name. There was nothing I could do to change that, but that's what, that's a canvas thing. I, I can't help you there. So anyway, uh, give that a try and let me know.